What's up, y'all? We got some freeze time on our hands today, so we're gonna knock these freeze plugs in this budget 318 here. I'll just get right to it. We'll go ahead and show you the part number, what we're working with here. It's a mailing kit. The brass freeze plugs. We picked this up from Summit. It has pretty much every freeze plug you need for a small block Mopar, so. Uh, a few tools I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use, uh, use my cordless Dremel just to clean up the inside of the freeze plug holes there. We got some red RTV we're gonna smear on them. And then we've got an inch and an eighth socket and an extension that fits this pretty snugly. We'll use that as our driving tool and then a two pound hammer. So I'm gonna get busy cleaning up these boards right here. This is just a cordless Dremel with a, a sanding drum on it. This one will mainly knock off that loose paint in there. Make sure there's no rust. Okay, now that we got those boards all cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little RTV on my freeze plug here. And the idea here is you want to drive this thing in as flush as level with the block as you possibly can. That's pretty much all it is to it, guys. You just want that plug to be below the surface right here of the block casting. Clean up your little excess RTV there. And she looks good. Move on to the next one. Try this one this way. Put the ceiling on the block. And we are going to give this block another, it'll probably get two more wash cycles before we get ready to assemble it. Just to, I see some of that sand and debris inside the water jackets here. Just to clean that out, we'll turn it upside down and give it a good flush out. We'll pull these drain plugs out. Don't want nothing clogging up that brand new radiator we got.
just like everything else I do, y'all. It's not no race. Slow and steady. You don't want to drive it in sideways or possibly drive it all the way through and then ruin your plug and have to fish it back out. Because once it goes all the way through there, you're not getting it out without tearing it up. So, slow and steady. Blocks walking, let me pull y'all back in the shot here. All right, let me drive this last one in. And there's that driver's side done, y'all. Uh, you can paint over these. Some people prefer to paint over them. I, personally, I like the contrast look to it. I think it goes, it looks good contrasting against the fresh paint on the block. But yeah, let me flip it over and do the other side. I'll probably make a, a short video about that. So I have to do these. I know it might be redundant, but a lot of my content I've been doing uh, the short style YouTube videos and then doing a longer long form video The only reason for that is we seem to get more subscribers off of the short videos than we do our long-term content And we not hit that thousand subscriber mark yet, so we're Yeah, we we tend to get more views and more subscribers on our short style videos than we do our long-term content so the main goal is to get us to a thousand subscribers, which we're still steadily working towards. We're at 400 and something now. So if y'all could like, comment, share, or subscribe to this video, it'd be greatly appreciated. While I'm in here, guys, I'm going ahead and doing some more detail work on cleaning up some of this casting flash around the uh, Lifter Valley the cam tunnel. I'm going to open up these or return holes a little bit. I've got this one done pretty much over here. Just to open that up a little bit. Help the oil return to the pan quicker. Since we already got to give this block another wash, might as well go ahead and finish up the little detail work like this. And that's pretty much what it looks like when it gets done, guys. It doesn't take but a few seconds to get in there with a Dremel carbide bed or a sanding disc. Just clean it up. Mainly, I focused on the floor of it. Let me see if I can show you on this other one. Might have to show you from the bottom side. Let's see. Mm, you can see it a little bit right there. Mainly I just focused on the floor of it. Radius that edge right there so the oil can drain back pretty easy. You now like I said I went ahead and touched up the cam tunnel and the lifter got it flashing. I gotta clean this block so it's got metal shavings and stuff all in it so we still gotta do another round of cleaning on this block. I did get back there in the back. Near that last lifter and dropped the floor on that side too a little bit just to help the oil get back to the pump quicker. But yeah guys, that's gonna do it for this short video. Y'all stick around, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We're gonna get back on this 318 budget build. See y'all in the next one.